yeah, so I get the same question about certain topics over and over again, and I know you do too. So here's a clue. Here's what I want you to do because it's going to make a difference. So think about educating your potential clients. Everybody has the similar questions. They have same questions over and over again. So I'll give you an example. We treat kids in this clinic, in my clinic, and then they go to school. They become five years old and they start going to school. Well, they have to have an IEP at that point. Well, a parent doesn't know what an IEP is. And I have the benefit of over 25 years of therapy. I've worked in the school system before. I know what an IEP is. And really, some of these parents were getting railroaded with, an, with IEPs. So I began to think, how can I help these parents out? I created an IEP guide for our state. It's specific to our state. And I give those to parents so they can be educated and know how to best serve their kids by being an advocate for their kids. They're empowered from that information that I give them. It's super powerful. It's such a powerful tool to educate your potential clients to help them choose you. That's why I'm doing this video so you can start thinking about those reoccurring questions that you could create like a mini guide for. Another example is I created a mini guide it's basically a list of questions for our potential clients to ask their insurance to see if they're going to cover the therapy that their child needs. And so I give that to parents. Another one that I created was a funding source issue. So in our state, and probably your state too, insurance is not real good about covering therapy for kids. And so what I created is there's another funding source in our state. I created a guide about that funding source that a parent can get that's needs-based and it's not income-based. So that's a very important key to that education is to letting parents know, look, I don't care how much money you make because you don't qualify for Medicaid or your insurance is not gonna cover for this. This funding source is going to cover the therapy because it's needs-based because your child needs therapy. And so I give them that guide. It's super helpful. And because of that, they start to, trust me and understand that our clinic knows what they're doing. The other part of that is to be sure to follow up with that person that gets the guide. Whether you give it to them in person or they get it in electronic fashion, follow up with them and ask them, hey, did that guide help? Do you have any questions? Because then they begin to understand that you care, that they're a real person with real problems and that you have some answers and you can help them. So follow up with that. Another thing that you can do is that you can offer that guide on your website, on your practice website. They can download that in exchange for their email. And then you can start nurturing them, educating them in other ways, asking them questions to see if they need some help. And that way, eventually, they're going to choose you for therapy. You can also, with that guide, you can create a Facebook ad. You can create a Google ad. And Google and Facebook ads are very powerful because you can target a geographical area. And so think about if people are searching that question that reoccurs in your geographical area and you have a guide for that, that's super powerful, okay? So multiple uses for that guide. You just have to understand what people are asking for over and over again and start documenting that and say, you know what? I've had five questions about this same topic this week. I'm gonna create a little mini guide and walk people through this. So powerful. All right, I have a webinar coming up on how to start a therapy practice. It's a free training. So go to startatherapypractice.com backslash webinars. You can sign up for that training. Also, guess what? Startatherapypractice.com has some free guides, some free tools. So go over there and get those, okay? Also, don't forget, subscribe to the podcast. It's called Start a Therapy Practice, and that would be great if you left a review over there on your podcast player. All right, if you need anything, email me, scott at startatherapypractice.com. Until next time, Godspeed to you and your practice. I got to get back in here to work. We'll see you later.